it's Rhonda and I'm back with another Why Did I Buy? These are things that you can find just about everywhere. You can even find them at the bins on old clothing. Be sure and take a set of scissors with you if your bins allow you to do what I do and cut the patches off. That's what we're going to talk about today is vintage patches. It's pretty often that I'll go and I'll find jackets and things like that and our clothing is by the weight. Um, a lot of our items at my bins, I'm in North Mississippi, they charge by the item, but on any clothing, sheets, linens, things like that, of course, they charge by the pound like they do at most of the bin stores or the Goodwill outlets, as they're also known as. Bargain barns, they call them that as well. Um, these are things that, these are uh, new old stock. Basically, they've not been used. Oh, he's on his head. Is he on his head? Yeah, <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> He's a bull rider. He probably ended up on his head before it was over with. But things like this, the little snowmobile. Um, this one is one from Scouting. And as you can see, they haven't been used. These are all embroidered. And they are old. Uh, they're new old stock, basically. You know, is how you can list them in there. What I did was, there's a lot of them that I pulled off of clothing and I will reveal that that's been used you know and I'll put that in my description and things but there's a lot of them that you can just buy in lots at some of these um, yard sales in particular um, but I did buy some on an online auction I'm a member of instant collections and I don't buy as often there now because I've got so much back stock I'm trying to get rid <laughs> of my last 10 by 20 that I, I liquidated from my last few estates before I basically retired from hosting estate sales and I'm getting down to the wire on needing to get that done that's just something that's I've got to go um, of getting that done by April of next year which this is November so hopefully I'll get it done before then and I could do that if I just dumped everything off but I'm kind of purging and going through things there's a few things that are personal items in there and so I'm going to move those around um, normally I'm not going to be one to have that large a death pile but when I liquidated my thrift store a lot of things came with me and we moved very quickly because we ended up finding a house um, that we live in now where I'm in a mother-in-law's wing and my kids live in the main house and I've mentioned that in my other videos and so I've, I've come to a very small space but I've got to make good choices about what I bring to this space and so that's kind of where I am right now anyway I digress these are patches that I bought um, I believe it was directly from somebody that I had bought from before on instant collections and anyway he, he's like anybody he buys things in uh, storage units he buys things in bulk he has people he lives outside the Jackson Tennessee area and he has people to contact him directly from years past that he purchased things in large lots truckloads things like that the short story is that his health is not as good as it used to be and he's getting quite a bit older he's quite a bit older than I am he's almost old enough to be my dad which would be late 70s early 80s and so his name is William and William got to where he was just liquidating a lot of things that he just wasn't passionate about anymore he had some things that he wanted to resell but he he likes the horse trading and things like that and so he asked me um, because I had bought quite a volume of things over the years I've bought um, decals from him in volume like that um, I've bought pin backs like the vintage pins lapel pins and things like that uh, paper products a lot of ephemera I've bought from him and he says are you interested in patches and I was like yeah I've you know I've bought patches over the years and usually it'll be five or six laying on a table somewhere or I'll cut some off of the things at the bins because my bins does allow me to do that I asked them you know about that and so I've got a little pair of scissors they're one of the little collapsible ones that hook onto my key ring and I just go in and I just cut things off you know I've got a little bitty pen knife also that they let me use but that's we've got a really small uh, outlet and it's a lot of locals you know that go there and things like that and so they're pretty lax on some of their rules but 
Um, they even allow me to film there, although I try not to catch people's faces, in particular children or anything like that. I've been asked about that before, and I'm just going to clarify here <laughs> that my bins allows me to do that, and until they don't, I'm going to be filming things like that, but I do try to reserve the privacy of somebody else. Most people could care less. They want to be on the camera, frankly, so... Um, but I, I go in there and I'll cut these things off and things. So I was explaining to William, I said, yeah, you know, I've got some and they're used. He said, well, I've got a boatload of these things. And he started describing and I thought, yeah, I need to really see these. And so he sent me pictures, um, just kind of a collage of pictures, several different days. He went through some of his collection was showing me. And so I ended up buying conservatively, I ended up buying probably around 3,000, 3,500, something like that, patches. They were all new old stock, and some of these, these particular ones, not the Scout one, I don't think, but like I got a lot of the um, horse type things, um, some of the uh, activity things. I've got this, and I've got like the jet skis and things like that along those lines. He just had a boatload of them, and I think he said that somebody that owned a store had let their storage unit go, and he ended up buying that. But um, I do sell, I'll just show you just a handful of things. Some of these I got from him, and some I didn't, but I ended up paying around, I think it was around $350 for the whole lot. That's all he wanted for it. And so that was kind of a steal. <laughs> but I've got things, um, I, I put the separate ones, like if there's multiples, I'll put it in the same Ziploc bag. And then I store it. I salvaged these. The You're not supposed to sell or use them for other purposes, the priority uh, type of packaging and things like that from uh, USPS. But... I saw a bunch of these on the side of the road one time, and th they really didn't look in good enough condition for me to want to send some of my inventory to somebody in. So I salvaged these, and I'm actually recycling these, and I'm using these just like you would a hanging file. As you can see, they're all, <laughs> they kind of came to me this way. Some of them were torn, some, you know, whatever. But I kind of salvaged those because you're really not supposed to throw those away. You're supposed to turn them back into the post office if you're not going to use them. If you've over, you know, purchased them or anything like that. These are free from the post office, but I would encourage anybody to use them for the purpose that they were for because that's why our shipping prices are so high is people are not using them for the proper use. But these were things that really weren't going to be a legitimate shipping item. It wasn't going to be something and it was going to be tossed and so I decided to recycle it. And what I do is, um, you know, I've just got it in here because all of my patches are in one place now. I've gotten it down to where I've got one banker box full of them. But I had them divided into like odds and ends and I'd have one that says military, um, one that says like um, bull rider, you know, for these. Um, Things along the lines of the scouting ones, um, car and motorcycle. In fact, I'll show you some of those. Well, let me show you this first. I get big ones like this. Now, uh, this one hasn't been used. I've already sold one of them. But um, this, I don't know if I'll have this on this video. I think, I don't know that I got a screenshot of the sold on this. But, like, this one sold for, like, $18.99 or something like that. And so I've got another one of those. And so, as you can tell, what I spent on this whole lot of them, you know, even if I wanted to throw my own that I already had in there on this lot, I've just got pennies in any of this kind of stuff. I don't buy things unless um, two criterion are met. I either, I, I'll pay up for something if I know I've got a, a easy flip and a quick flip or another dedicated buyer on the end. I buy with people in mind here locally um, or people that have bought from me, you know, several times and they're watching me either on my channel or they're watching me, you know, on my eBay or Etsy store or whatever. That's one criterion. The other one is I don't want to give up much of my real estate because, again, I've got a really small space here. So I want to make sure that... I'm willing to give up that amount of real estate 
Um, and I don't want to do it on something. I don't mind some long tail things, but I don't want a whole lot of long tail things. I want things that are going to quickly move through, even if it's just a profit of 3 or $4 or whatever. As long as I've got it churning like that, I'll say it now, and I've said it before, and I'll say it again. This won't be the last time I say it. Bread and butter items put bread and butter on the table. They feed you. That's, that's where we get most of our things. When I had an antique booth... I would do just the opposite. I would put a couple of um, pieces of furniture in there, even if it was something that was a project piece, but something that I knew when those two pieces of furniture sold, that would pay my booth rent, and then everything else was bread and butter. It was stuff that paid, you know, for me to eat and my mortgage at the time and things like that. So um, these type of items, I just put pennies in. I'm just not going to spend a whole lot because there's just too much of it out there. And I like to buy the more unusual ones anyway. In particular, I like to buy the ones that are new old stock like this because this is going to be something that's not found very often. About a year ago, not quite a year ago, I guess, but almost a year ago, I had an order come through for these and I just about fainted. It was around... I'm thinking it was around a thousand dollars, something like that. And somebody apparently was either putting these on clothing, you know, hats and things like that, or they owned a, a shop that was vintage. I kind of looked it up and it looked like it might be a storefront, but you couldn't really tell by the name, but where it was was in New York City. And they bought around a thousand dollars worth. Of these they never made me an offer on it or anything they just and I've got offers on everything I make offers but um, they just went in and just bought a doll and I charge shipping per item and so I ended up refunding some of theirs but they never asked for combined shipping they 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 initially paid I think around $150 in addition just to have these things shipped because they were one at a time you know and at the time I think my shipping was at 350 or something like this so I do charge for that you have to teach people how to treat you you know Dr. Phil says that all the time you know about relationships and things well you know business is a relationship it's a relationship between you and your viewer if you're on uh, YouTube and purchasing you know from YouTube or something like that but um Everything that we do in life is a relationship. We have a relationship with other people. We have a relationship with our money and how we handle our money. And so I don't want to spend on something that's going to sit there. And I don't want to spend a lot on something that's not going to sit there. I want to have something that's continually turning and revolving out of my store. So um, just a few more of the little items. I've even got things that are just like soccer related along those lines. Um, let's see if I can get it to where you can see it. American flag. These sell quite well, actually. Around election time, they really sell. <laughs> um, got things that I don't know. Now, this one's a CSI, but there'll be things that I don't even know what they are. And I just put it on there. Or I, I use Google Lens and go, oh, okay. Well, it's that kind of thing. Um, my orthodontist loves me you know that's something that if i if i get to a point which like i said i'm down to one probably a banker box and a half and i've got about i guess about 25 folders in each one you know or the envelopes or whatever um, when I get down to one solid box left of these, I'll probably just lot them up and put them on wholesale. If you don't know about wholesale, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description um, on that. But it's it's spelled instead of wholesale, it's spelled wholesale, H-A-U-L, sale. And that's a place that usually resellers sell to resellers, basically, is what you're looking at. And so if I get down to where I've got a lot of little odds and ends and I want to tie this off <laughs> with a ribbon and send it out, then I'm going to probably put that on wholesale. I may do it sooner rather than later because I need some more space and I'm uh, getting to the point that I need to add some more shelving and things like that, that my my profit pile is getting smaller and my listed pile is getting bigger so I need to have some more space to do that but um, 
when you're out at, at yard sales and things like that, and if they've got 50 cent clothing, look on it. And if it's got patches on there, just cut those things off. You know, have things, have scissors with you, you know, if you want to do something like that and then just dump it as soon as you get home or put them all in one bag, you know, and do that when you get home. There's a lot of things that um, you can salvage, the buttons and things like that, but you can salvage these patches. So why did I buy these? This is why I bought these.